afternoon. Um, just didn't play well. I think you guys, we talked about it a little bit uh, after the game. Yeah, lose the turnover margin. Uh, struggle to score when you have the ball a couple times at the 20 yard line and you come away with zero points. And um, and then, you know, the middle eight, the, the last four minutes of the of the second quarter and the first four, the third, you know, frustrating. Hope we would have responded a little bit better. Um, and then left some points off the board on special teams and, and all those things you can't do against a good football team. Um, you know, South Dakota State, again, uh, you know, Ton of respect for them. They got uh, you know a ton of really good football players right now. Guys playing very confident, playing well. And uh, I thought we had moments where we were right in it. And it's it's it's, it's you know our kids played hard. Uh, we just got to be better prepared. And, and again, you can't have those those type of errors or those type of mistakes in big games. Uh, this weekend, uh, you know Southern Illinois coming up, coming to town. Uh, a couple you know things on the docket. Uh, the, the whiteout for Warriors uh, or kind of a uh, an, an event uh, encouraging our fans to wear white uh, in association with Operation Hat Trick, uh, Veterans Day, celebrating uh, you know our, our veterans and, and their service to our country. Uh, we will be uh, honoring 13 uh, seniors, uh, Senior Day again as well. And then, of course, uh, we'll be wearing our green helmets with Harvest Bowl going on as well. Uh, also, um, again, recognizing... Um, not just the state of North Dakota, but the, the upper Midwest and the value that the, the agribusiness and, and agriculture has, not just to our university, but to our uh, community uh, and region. A strong opponent this week, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Kind of how similar does it feel to what you guys were going up against, say, uh, last week? And just kind of how similar does this matchup feel to uh, South Dakota State type? Well, a little bit different uh, just from what they do schematically. Uh, they, they jump in and out of some different personnels. And so we got to do a good job uh, probably up from the press box recognizing uh, do they have their four down package in or are they going to jump into more of their three three five stack look. Uh, I think that could – uh, impact some of the, the plays being called. They're, they're a quarters team. Um, so that there is a big similarity there between, and I think you look at most teams in our league are, are, are based out of a two high and, and e either playing some version of quarters or quarter, quarter half at different times. Left on the schedule, has it kind of taken on more of a playoff feel? Do you feel, do you kind of feel like these last two games, the, the intensity got ramped up a little bit more after uh, Brookings? Well, I think, no, I, I think everything's been ramped up, you know, all year long. Um, We've just approached it. We got to go one and zero this week, just like we would. I mean, this is the biggest one of the year because it's the next one, and so we got to have a great week of preparation. We got to put a good plan together. Uh, I think we're healthy. Um, again, I haven't had our final uh, medical conversation, but at this point, right now, I feel good about where we're at uh, from a health standpoint, and um, got to get our kids ready to go. And 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 and, I, and from just my conversations with them yesterday and today, I, I think we will be. Alexander got his first start uh, Saturday. What? How do you evaluate the way he played, or what did you like about him? He, he, he played well. Um, he did a nice job. Uh, you know, Marcus was dealing with with some some shoulder injuries, and so wanted to to give him an opportunity to get out there and play. Uh, Marquise has worked hard. Um, young man that's put on twenty plus pounds in the in the couple two years he's been here. Uh, I think he's only scratching the surface of his capabilities, but. Um, it was a good start. It was, it was it was a good first game, and and, and you know it wasn't like he was he got to go out there and and and, and play you know in, in in some end of the game type of scenario. He had to be ready to go right away, uh, playing against a good football team. Or see him going again, starting again Saturday. Still don't. Uh, he'll, he's going to play. Uh, I don't know if he'll start, but he's going to play for us definitely. Five teams six and three, Matt. What's your thoughts on that this late in the year? Say that one more Five time. teams that are six and three. In our league, yeah, heading yeah. down the stretch here. Well, it probably shows some parity. Uh, again, I'm, I can only comment on on us right now. Uh, you know, again, I'm I'm as I'm as disappointed as anybody right now. I shouldn't say disappointed, but, um, you know, do I get angry? Do I get upset? Of course I do. I think I think we're better than what we've been, and, um, you know, at at some point, you know, uh, attitude has to drive performance. And we we need to we need to perform better on Saturdays. I don't think we we, we practice well. Uh, again, you, you never anticipate turnovers. We, we've, we turned it over what twice leading up to this game, maybe three times. Um, but all of a sudden, they come, they came in groves, and and it was tough against a good football team. You have uh, thirty five seniors. Does that mean thirteen are 
being honored. Does that mean 22 are coming back? Don't, you... don't know at this time. And, and from my anticipation, they are uh, or have the possibility to. But these are the young men that we've, we've talked to that either are, are done with their eligibility uh, or have some, you know, are just done playing football, at, you know, at their collegiate level. Again, using that 60 years has become kind of a unique, u- unique uh, dynamic for college football right now. When you took this job, that roster management would be a thing for a college coach. Well, not like not like it's become. Uh, of course, you know, uh, when I took the when I took the job in in December of 2018, I don't even know if the transfer portal existed at that time. Uh, and then shortly after, I think it was January 2019, it was passed. And so it it has been it has been unique. Um, you know, it uh, you know that extra year has enabled kids, maybe encouraged some kids to go do something different. Uh, I think when kids leave, I don't think it's a reflection upon our program. Most of them who leave have a degree and, and have won a ton of football games. I think they're looking for something different. Uh, no different than if, if any of you took a job somewhere else, you're doing it to better yourself or because you think it's the right move. Same with a lot of these kids. Down the days till the sixth year thing is done. I mean, is well, it 2025? 20, 20, well, it's, it's getting closer and closer all the time. This will probably be our big – Big, biggest class maybe um, in, in the next year or so because of the sixth year, but it would be nice to get back to a, a five-year model um, that we're all probably accustomed to, but what, what, what does accustomed to mean anymore in college football? I mean, things have changed so dramatically uh, in, in the last five years. You mentioned South Dakota State playing with so much confidence, and they're, they're a veteran team that yep. just has some swagger. Do you, do you feel like your team has that confidence all the time, or is that an area maybe that – when things start going the wrong direction, that they well, I think I think just from watching film and, and 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 I watch as much as anybody. I do I think, and I've mentioned it here in in our press conferences before that there's times where I feel like you know someone has a little bit success and we we're on our heels a little bit. We we we, we kind of have to step back and and rather than be on the attack uh, or you know go make a play. Um, so. I think we have confidence. I, I, I know our kids aren't, aren't satisfied with where they're at. I mean, I, I, um, you can see it. You can, you, you can hear it. Um, they're as frustrated as our fan base. They're as frustrated as, you know, potentially our administration, as, as you guys, whomever. Um, and so am I. But I can't, I can't go out there and, and, and create excuses or point fingers because, again, like I said, um, you know, the most important thing we have here is got to have the right people in leadership roles and attitude drives performance. Special teams issues on on Saturday. I know uh, Eli came in and kicked. Is that a move going forward, or is that just for the end of the game on Saturday? That was just for the end of the game, right there. I got a ton of ton of respect for Griff, and and you know it. It, it was a bad day to have a bad day, and you know for 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 that to happen. He's, what is he at? One hundred and twenty. I'm I'm speculating, but one hundred and twenty PATs in a row. Um, just one of them days. So um, just. No different than a than a than a than a pitcher throwing a couple walks, and all of a sudden, you're going to find somebody different. Take the stress off him. Was that just bad protection or low kicks or a good individual effort by a South Dakota State defender? Uh, I think I think I think a little bit of everything. Um, you know, I, I don't think the kicks got up real quick, um, and so it enabled for you know a big long kid to get his hands up, you know, right in the window. Peyton was your leading rusher until a couple weeks ago. Is that run game, sorry, has it just gone away? Have teams concentrated on what? With Cole or just with our quarterbacks? Well, Cole specifically, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if we, we utilized Cole a whole bunch just last week. I mean, when we got down, we had to start throwing the football a little bit more than, than maybe what we had, had envisioned. I mean, we had plenty of offense that was for Cole during the course of the game as long as the score allowed us to stay in that game plan. What kind of challenge is Nick Baker? I mean, he's another Valley quarterback that's been here, it feels like. Six years. years? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's a good player. Uh, you know, he had had a ton of success out of high school, out of Rochester High School. Uh, I think won multiple state championships. Just kind of has, has tremendous moxie to him. Um, throws the ball from all sorts of different angles, buys time with his feet, keeps his eyes downfield, uh, does a really good job. Has, has great understanding of their RPO stuff and their, their RPO run to, run to throw option. And 
Um, you have to do a really good job pre-snap to try to impact his decision making. And I, and I think if you let him get hot early, he's one of those quarterbacks that just you're going to have to deal with it all week. And so we need to we need to have a good plan in place and make sure that we can impact some of his his thought process early in the course of the game. What do you see when you see their defense? It looks like they're stopping the run pretty well. They're they're only giving up. What, 16 points a game or something, yep. which is yep. not much in today's college football. No, it's not. It's, I mean, I think in, in today's college football, you keep people under 20 points, you're, you're probably pretty excited about it. Um, they're, they're jumping in and out of some different packages. They're, they're not afraid to play man coverage and, and get down and press you. Uh, they're their safeties, uh, especially their boundary safety, number seven. Um, I was impressed with him. I, I think it's his last name, Steed. I mean, He'll be, he'll be at the line of scrimmage before you know it if he gets a, a run read. And so they're just um, – I think they got solid linebackers. Both uh, Barola and uh, Bohannik are, are both physical kids in the middle. Uh, they got a nice def- – when they get into their 3-3-5, three, three, um, I was impressed with their with Cam Boundary, uh, their nose guard. Good player too, and I think he does a great job of, of, of kind of splitting the format, keeping the ball front side, not letting it cut back. And so you have to be really patient as a back, but you also have to sustain blocks with them. With Petrino being there last there, obviously you know, just playing teams you know, but yeah. does he add a little extra insight, maybe even personnel-wise, just knowing? Uh, probably probably right? a little bit, but again, it, it, almost a year's passed, and uh, there's quite a few new names on this on this roster as well. So uh, you know, maybe from an operation, maybe from a tempo standpoint, there's a little bit of insight, but you still got to go off the film that you're seeing this year. One of the things that you know we've noticed, we need to be ready for tempo, but they're huddling a little bit more. Um, you know, maybe a little more deliberate, you know, getting lined up. And is that a byproduct of having a high caliber defense? You described the frustration of the takeaways that they come in clumps and against the teams you've lost to, you have not been able to take the ball away yet? Well, yeah. I, we, we continue to practice them. We continue to preach them every day. Uh, defensively, we have a, we have a, you know, a goal of three a day uh, as we're out there competing and practicing. And, and I think, you, you have to continue to stress them. Uh, if you don't stress it, then you never can count on getting them. Um, but you, you got to be at the right place at the right time. You got to get hats to the football. Uh, you got to be pulling at it, punching at the football. Uh, tips and overthrows are critical. I mean, anytime we can mirror hand and, and get a hand on the ball and it gets batted, um, though the positive things have, have a tendency to happen. But, you know, I don't, you, you wish you had more of them. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if there's a reason why. I think, you know, like I said, I, I know our kids are playing hard. You talked about Shepard having a shoulder thing. Uh, how about Julian with Darcy? Is he closer to being back, or is he? Don't back? don't really don't know at this time. Uh, we got to get him uh, back to the doctors one more time to get cleared before he can play. Conversation with him and Lippy that changed during the season. Were they bank? Were you thinking they were coming back? Who's, who's with Darcy, with Darcy and Ju- Julian Lippie? never yeah. he never redshirted, so he has to graduate. So this is his fifth year. Um, when you count the COVID year, he, as of 2019, he played in 15 games on special teams. Um, and then Jake uh, Lippy was kind of you know on the fence a little bit. Uh, had encouraged him to come back. Just recently got engaged. Uh, wants to get into coaching, and uh, I, I think he saw this as you know I, I, I've loved every minute. I have my degree. Um, in you know, let let me walk out of here. You know, feeling good about what what, I, what I've accomplished, and 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 go dive into the next phase of my life. Grace for any. Person coming in about from now till whenever January one. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be done instead of coming back for another year. I think you got to be prepared for it. I mean, there's you know n- numerous reasons why why someone would leave. I mean, it was you know people leaving the, leaving a program or any program in the country didn't just start five years ago in the transfer portal. I mean, we had a uh, Preston Evans was with us this weekend down in in. in down in Brookings and, and made a comment that when he graduated in 2010, there was only four of his original 20, 26, 27 guys that he came in with. So, I mean, it's, it, it's happened before. And, and unfortunately now it, it happens at a greater rate, you know, because kids have the opportunity to. You know, sometimes you say parts of the team gets on their heels if things aren't going well. Are you surprised with just kind of the experience and veterans you have that, that yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that, that's that, that's that's the mystery right there is is is, is why uh, rather than being on the attack, like I said, having confidence, you know, having our vets, having somebody step up and make a play and saying enough's enough. You know, we, we, we kind of 
have, have to regroup, or, you know, and, and then, you know, South Dakota is a great example. We didn't have enough time to, 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 to get back where we wanted to be. Matt, you describe a player like GC, what Volpin Testa has meant to, doesn't get a lot of reps, doesn't special teams, but what, what he's meant to the team for the last five years? First thing I think of is toughness, and probably the second thing I think of is bison pride. Yeah, you, you talk about a young, he has been a life, I should take that back, until this semester, he was a, he was a five-year, four-year, four-and-a-half-year walk-on. Um, paid every cent to come here, go and have his degree in May, uh, put him on scholarship. We knew this was going to be his last year. Put him on scholarship this fall just because of his commitment to the program. Uh, has been in the wide receiver room. He's in the tight end fullback room. Um, does a little bit of everything. You, you, you hit it on. I mean, he's a special teams guy. You know, we, we've had a lot of guys come through like that. I mean, you look at A.J. Van Vorst, another name. Jackson Brown, uh, another safety slash outside linebacker, but really, you know, probably had his best plays on, on special teams. And, and, and G.C. is another one. Just a, you know, tough kid, uh, you know, little Italian background, uh, you know, Love it on game day, he comes strolling in in his Yankees gear, or sometimes it's Dodgers gear. But um, he, he's got a great, end, a great motor. Uh, he's a great teammate. And so we, we need to make sure that we take care of our seniors this week.